Hi there, you are watching the data labs. My name is Dilip. In this short uh, tutorial, we are going to learn how to display user form on selection. So while working on a project, uh, sometime we encounter the scenario where we need to show a user form or data entry form based on the selection done by user. So say suppose we are working on a medical project and we have two se uh, separate forms for male and female. And on home page, we have a drop down from here user will uh, select the patient uh, gender and then click on ok button to open the data entry form so in that scenario uh, this particular code is applicable which we are going to learn here i have tried uh, to imitate uh, the same scenario in this tutorial let's move to the excel file and understand it so here you can see that uh, i have created a drop down and in drop down we have uh, red, yellow, green and blue. So there are four types of drop, drop down available and if you will move to the visual basic uh, application So in visual basic application, I have created four different form that is blue green red and yellow and all these forms The name of all these forms are same as uh, the drop down value and all these you know forms are associated with The value available in drop down. So once user will select like say suppose user is selecting red and clicking on open then it will open the uh, red form and in if user will select any other form like yellow green or blue then it will open that particular form okay so here we are going to cover this code right so let's uh, uh, double click on the open here while keeping your you know uh, design mode on just double click on the open this uh, command button and once you will double click on that it will open the visual basic application window here and you can see that uh, Oh, command button underscore click event has been generated so in this sub procedure we just need to write the code to identify the selection and open the user form okay so let's write the code here so first of all uh, we will declare a variable so let's clear the variable dim and uh, my form as a string and then we need to assign the value the selected value in this uh, my form so uh, my form here and if you look at this go to the excel file the range is you know e7 so the sheet name is home and the range is e7 so let's move to the visual basic here and then give the name sheets there is the collection and then we need to provide the name so home sheet we are referring and the range is uh, e7 okay and what we are going to retrieve from e7 that is value now we have assigned the value uh, which is available in E7 in my form. Let's uh, validate whether my form has some value or not. So if my form is equal to blank, then then we need to uh, show a message box here. Uh, selection not uh, not done. Okay. It means user has not selected any of the value and user has clicked on OK. And then we need to come out from this uh, procedure so exit sub so it will terminate the code here if user has done the selection like uh, user has selected the form name then we need to open that particular form so for that uh, user forms that is the collection for user form dot add we will add the, in the collection and the name is this one the variable name so my form okay and then dot show so this is the simple code uh, which is required to open uh, the form on selection basically and we are done with that let's uh, move to the work uh, excel file and see whether it's working or not so currently i have selected let's come out from the design mode here because we are just going to execute the code and we have selected the red here let's click on open and now you can see that once i uh, uh, selected like uh, red and clicking on open then it was oh, it is opening the red form here let's uh, check other so you can see that it's working perfectly so this is how uh, you can show the required form basis on the selection and it will be you know very easy basically it's very easy you can see that right the code okay so if you are looking for any short tutorial like this on VBA Excel DAX and any other application you just uh, post your comment in comment side i will pick the question from that and i will uh, upload a tutorial on that 
please visit our website for free automated tools, trackers and dashboard. You can also explore our YouTube uh, channel like the playlist uh, for VBA, Google Sheet, Automation, Excel and Power BI tutorials. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and comment. Have a great day. Bye bye.